Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be reviewing Chad Kimball's video over here. Uh, so how can I link, how can I rank without a backlink? Just to give you a little context, uh, Chad Kimball's program, he has a similar program to ours. Uh, just so you know, we are very well aware of Chad Kimball. Actually, Dan, again, like so many other people, Dan has helped this is Chad at our one of our Vegas events, but uh, Dan has helped Chad Kimball launch his own program. I think it's called the Google Maps Elite. And uh, yeah, this is a interview that Dan- Who was rotted out, here. like increase your delay um, between queries. So like, yeah, Dan helped Chad get started with his program. Um, and you know, over the years, Dan ha has learned uh, some G Google Maps stuff from Chad as well. And Chad has, dropped some uh training in our you know in our legion program as well but just so you know you know chad's program has like 1800 students we have 7000 students so we have a lot more experience in the coaching space um chad has been doing you know rank and rent model for a while now though too so he has some expertise as well uh, and so I'm going to review one of his videos today and it's called how to rank higher without links Forget Amazon, the best site. All right, let's take it over here. But today I'm going to talk about how to rank higher in Google Maps without any links. And actually, I'm talking about how to rank higher without getting more links, how to rank higher without getting more citations, how to rank higher without getting more reviews. And the answer is very simple, but a lot of people don't know it. So what I want to do right now is I play a video for you, a real short video that is an experiment that we did with one of my daughter's lead generation sites. And this is actually a video um, from my Google Maps coaching program. So I have an entire program and it's focused on really optimizing your Google Maps listing and creating many, many, many listings, hundreds of listings to dominate your local area with Google Maps listings. We talk about the ins and outs of all that stuff. And so this is actually a recording of one of our live sessions that we did where I talk about the experiment we were doing with my Obviously, we teach Google Maps as well. It's an important part of the process, but Google Maps is not the only way to generate leads in local lead generation. You also uh, need a powerful website that ranks in the search engine along with Google Maps. Daughter's lead generation listing. I've talked about this before, but my daughter has her own lead gen and she bump, she, we watched her Maps listing bump up in the rankings step-by-step step, bumping up from six to five to four to three to two. And now she kind of bumps between two and three purely from adding articles to her site. And because we weren't doing anything else at that time. And she was sort of, I can't remember, I think she's around number six, number five, something like that. But she really wanted to be in that top three because that's where the phone calls really start to come in. And so we just started adding articles every day, adding articles to the site, adding articles to the site. And as they, as she increased her number of articles and these weren't like copied articles, they weren't like spun, Computer gen By the way, I've been talking about this forever in our coaching program. I sometimes do live uh, training in our program and I've been talking about adding more content onto the site as time goes on. Generated stuff, they were, these weren't like written by, four, by people who, where English isn't their uh, first language, these were quality, quality articles. As, and using some of the techniques that I'm gonna talk about here, as we added articles to her site, her maps listing went up and up and up and up in the rankings. And that's what really cemented her rankings. Now that's not always true. <clears throat> okay. Sometimes you add articles and you really need to add a lot of them before you see a difference. But in a lot of local markets, which is the markets that we're in, you're dealing with just regular mom and pop businesses. They don't have hundred page sites. They don't have content writers on staff. They don't even know about the Google algorithm. And so a lot of times, if you can get a good number of pages of content on your site, you will see your ranking increase. And I love preaching this because content, is totally in your control. There's a lot of things in this game that are not in your control, right? Backlinks, you know, they're, getting backlinks is sometimes can be a difficult task because you're trying to get someone else to link to your site on a site that they own. Content is totally in your control. I agree with that uh, for the most part, you know, but backlinks is still a massive, massive hack and a massive cheat code slash shortcut. Uh, just a few high quality backlinks, if you know how to get them, uh, can put you, you know, leaps ahead of 
in progress in terms of ranking. So one of the things we do is a link circle. So when you are in our program, we have 7,000 students. Let's say you're trying to rank a tree care site. Well, there's countless of other students that are also trying to rank tree care sites, but in different cities, right? And you can create what's called a link circle. You can create links from my site to another student's site in Dayton, Ohio. That student now links to another student's site in another city. And you create a circle of like five to 10. So it's not a one-to-one -one link exchange. And you can get a pretty big boost that way. And we also have... Um, uh, our own brokerage of uh, of a another separate you know branch uh, what they do is they um, they create powerful websites in the back end where we can literally just kind of purchase the high quality backlink so that's another cheat code as you can say and it's totally white hat as well because the all these sites are very very quality but what Chad's saying is correct um, you know, because local, it's not like a blog. You're not competing with like bloggers. So a lot of these sites are not updating their content. They're not posting more articles on their site. So there's a lot of, you know, damage you can do just by creating more pieces of content or article over time. All you have to do is write more or get more written for you. And you can totally control how many pages you have on your site. And so I love ranking with content and... You also have to know how to write a high quality piece of content. And there's a whole process behind that, which, you know, I'll probably get into in this video, but I'll probably get into some of it in this video. Um, so it's not just about just pumping out whatever article that you want. Like you also, there's, there's a whole method and, and a hack to kind of like how to write it in a proper way that Google really prefers. Um, it's really easy to see how many pages you should get on your site. All you need to do is go to Google and do site colon <clears throat> and then put your competitor's website right there. No spaces, just do a Google search for site colon and then no space and then your competitor's website. And it'll tell you how many pages your competitor has that Google knows about. And that's the number you need to hit. Obviously this is my site, 355. Most local businesses don't have 355 pages. So you don't, don't worry about that, but this is how you get the number. Your top three in your market, the top three competitors that you have, do this Google search and you will find how many pages you need to have to beat them. Yes, if this they is have what 10, I teach you need to have well. at least 10, preferably more. If they have 15, if they have 20, you need to have that many, preferably more. <clears throat> Sometimes you can actually, even if they have way more backlinks than you, you can still beat them by having twice as many articles as them. So articles are a great way to increase your rank. Um, and if you just do around 500 words, 500 to 1,000 words, you're gonna do great. Have each article be around that length. Now, one of the things that you might say is, man, I don't have the time to write all these articles or I don't have the money to pay writers to write all these articles on my site. And so, and actually in my coaching program, my maps coaching program, I actually show two techniques that you can use to get articles for free. And it's, there's a massive, massive number of these free articles that you can obtain. They cost nothing. And it is actually the way that we have scaled a lot of our maps listings is using these two exact techniques. I was talking about other techniques of getting articles written for very, very cheap and also how you can write articles on your own site within like 20, 30 minutes. And so if you're interested in my maps coaching program, just click on the link um, in the description of this video. You can talk to one of our, one of our folks who can get you enrolled and get you into the program. It's an awesome program where we talk specifically about dominating Google maps. So there's a lot of JKers in there. And it's really about taking your maps um, listings from just one, two, three listings, making a couple hundred bucks a month or a JK thousand bucks yeah. a month to making tens of thousands of dollars a month as you scale and network and create tons of maps listings. We also talk a lot about in there about keeping your maps listings from getting suspended, how you set them up. There's a certain way you need to set these things up to avoid getting suspended. We also talk a lot about how to get addresses and how to get tons of addresses in your target areas so that you really start to dominate. And really, I mean, in my own network, we've had where people call and no matter who they're calling in the Google maps listings, they're calling my numbers and that's really where you want to be. Yeah. Like, so a lot of, a lot of the so Chad's training is want, kind of part of our training of video um, and get out there. And whether you join my program or not, I want to really encourage you, even if you don't know our two free ways that we know how to get content. For Obviously sites, I'm biased towards Dan's program. A day or write I think three Dan's articles a, a week. better coach. Get that content because added it's to not your just site. Put it on part of your weekly tasks that I need to add X number of articles every single week what to you my do site. With and these, you will see your rankings uh, increase. Things, you but add it's just more it's how you build the business. To your site. Google loves that stuff. They'll, it'll show them that your website is an authority and you'll be competing. I mean, if you look at your competitors in the maps listings, they don't have 
they don't have very much content. Most local businesses will not have very many pages of articles on their site. They're just going to have three, four, five, 10 pages max. If you can beat them, get 10 pages, 20 pages, get 30 pages of articles on your site, you will be dominating in those maps rankings. Uh, yeah, you know, guys, like there's a lot you can do with AI. There's plenty of videos out there with like AI, like Jasper AI content writing tools. You can take, you know, with AI, like there's some risks, right? Um, that Google's algorithm might one day get smart enough to find your AI content. Who knows that could be a case, but if you're really short on cash and time, AI like Jasper would be a tool that you could play with. I personally, what I do is hire content writers from the Philippines and I hire them for like $5 an hour. That's my way of leverage. I personally am testing AI tools, but on sites that I don't necessarily, sites that I'm testing, not my main sites. So play with that at your own risk. But that would be like the cheapest, most affordable way in my mind to produce content today. Uh, but in terms of like finding out what to put on the page, just let me just kind of like, I just pick a random niche like junk removal, you know, um, like let's just say San Jose, um, get this tool, like keywords everywhere. And also make sure your article is addressing some of the questions that Google feeds you. Okay. Like it's San Jose junk pickup free. So, uh, try to open up some of these questions who pays for, uh, some of these are not going to be that relevant. Um, how, how much junk pickups can you have in San Jose? So, these are a lot of questions that are that Google is deeming as highly relevant to this topic, junk, junk removal, San Jose. So on this would be one of the pages, right? Possibly the home page, and you want to address as many questions, that many as many relevant questions as you can in your article. And uh, this is a tool called Keywords Everywhere. I would use this to try to find try to find other articles that you should be writing um pull up the top companies like in this case like junk king i uh, would pull these kind of this is like a national brand junk king but you can still pull them up on ahrefs go to organic keywords and you know, you will basically find other article ideas to cover like yard waste removal, hot tub removal, uh, you know, brush removal. So as you can see, using tools like Ahrefs and pulling your competitors, you can see what kind of articles that they have written. You can even go to other cities. So let's say you're trying to rank in like, you know, Dayton, Ohio and the top company only has like 20 articles well you can pull up other companies from other major cities like chicago dallas and some of those sites might have instead of 20 pages they might have 50 pages so you can kind of gleam off of those and create more pages but you know content the downside of content is it takes time it takes effort it takes even money like resources if you're hiring writers um but uh, you know so if you just stuck with just content alone, sometimes, you know, it can be very time consuming. So again, um, you want to be well-rounded in SEO, you know, it's like mixed smarter show arts. Let's just say content is like the, the content is like the ground game. And then backlinks is like the stand up game, right? Like you can be very, very dominant in one discipline, but you know, to, to win most of the, the battles, like you want to be well-rounded in all the different skill sets. So backlink is still a very, very powerful uh, signal to Google. So I wouldn't skip on backlink, especially if some of the quality backlinks are so easy to get. Um, yeah, but you know, don't, don't forget about content. Chad's absolutely correct. So also don't forget about, um, 
um, updating your content as well. So if you have a site that is struggling to rank uh, and you've been you've spent like six months on it and it's still on page two or something like that for your main keyword, um, go back through to the homepage and update the content. You know, see if you can cover more questions in in your article and cr create more pages like you know brush removal or hot tub removal some things like that more service pages and then link to it from your home page to show that your home page is encompassing more more topics about the main topic which is junk removal in this case right google at the end of the day wants to see you as the authority so uh, the more um related topics that you can cover the better so obviously like you can click click around on some of these related topics and google will feed you you know more more topics to to cover you know um sometimes you can even check out like let's just say Junk removal, San Jose. Um, you know, you, if you can click around here, like junk removal, San Jose cost. So maybe that could be a list of an article about the average cost of junk removal in San Jose. That would be a gr great article to t cover that topic. Um, Yeah, you, you kind of want to think outside outside the box as well. So like best junk removal near me is going to be like best company near me or best junk removal. Like that's something that people search, you know. So, you know, and what you see is like you see Yelp ranking the top 10 junk removal companies in San Francisco, which is where I'm located. So if you're trying to rank a site and then san jose or san francisco maybe you create something similar like top 10 junk removal companies in your area and uh obviously you can put your company to the list but this this lets you know that if you search this kind of keywords um google is ranking more of like a list format article so you want to also do the same and create a list uh different things like that again uh, obviously you know, here it shows more competitors too. So maybe you can write an article about your competitors like Bay Pro Junk Removal Review, right? And so, yeah, there, there's just, there's a lot more um, of these like tricks and tips that you can incorporate into your local Legion site in terms of content that puts you ahead of the competition. Even just doing you know, 15% more than the competition is the name of the game when it comes to SEO and ranking a site. So yeah, uh, if you're interested, you know, we have a coaching program where I go much more in depth. Um, we have co weekly coaching calls and a step, step by step training. Dan's been coaching on, uh, the lead gen business model since like 2014. So we're very, very experienced. Um, yesterday, this student posted this in our group, said, uh, I was a bit tearful yesterday in the best way. Thanks, Dan Klein, Tori Klein, and all the uh, LG fam. Yesterday, I killed my job. Thanks to arbitrage opportunity, I now also have all the money I'll need to grow even more and even faster. It's going to be hard work, of course, more grind and hustle, but totally worth it. I'm so excited it's 5 a.m in the east coast i'm wide awake i've never felt so alive awake and excited i'm free don't get mad at your money which is kind of like one of our models uh that we say all the time so yeah uh the community aspect is huge guys like like i said before uh our facebook group we have 7,000 students like no other group has our size of network so we can create backlinks to each other we can share strategies and techniques um and and lots more so yeah if you're interested in our program uh i have left some links in the description talk to you guys later